everyone! This is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my plan with me for Halloween week and the kit that I have is from Panda Bird Designs. Um, it's super cute because, as you know, I love this little cat pattern right here. I'm all about this. Um, so here we have the nine full boxes as well as three half boxes on the bottom. And I'm not usually a fan of like spiders and spider webs, but I think the web design that she has like in this kit is so pretty. Here we have the... Um, signature panda bird designs scallop half boxes and these ones are all in black we've got some quarter boxes some flags um some of these half boxes with like glitter on the top and the bottom and then three more half boxes here at the bottom and then oh my gosh look at this bottom washi i love it so much again not usually a fan of webs or anything but for some reason this one is just so pretty maybe it's because it has like some little hints of glitter in on the inside and anyways we have the date covers and then washi strips and then at the bottom here she snuck in like three little quarter boxes that have bows which are so dainty and cute so she really makes a lot of use of the space that she has and I did pick this up a la carte I didn't feel like I needed the full kit um, and I was able to probably make do with these sheets and so um, I have these sheets a la carte and as usual I want to start by putting down my bottom washi I'm so excited to start with this also I'm super sorry if you could hear Pokey in the background she has been really upset about me closing the door while I record but I can't have her in here because she ends up making so so much noise like she finds every little thing to make noise so I do have to keep my door closed so anyways apologize about that but anyways let's just go ahead and get started while I put down the basics like the bottom washi, the sidebar box, and my date covers, I just want to take a second to apologize for being pretty MIA over the last few weeks. I know it's been like three or four weeks since I last uploaded. We're already in December, yet I'm still posting my um, Halloween spread for this week. And I'm so sorry for being gone for such a long time. Between work, being super busy, um, getting sick, and then going out of town for Thanksgiving, I just was not able to work on my videos for a few weeks. And hopefully you guys can understand that Sometimes life just gets in the way and I'm really excited to be back and um, filming and editing again. So I'm looking forward to catching up. Um, so anyways, I go ahead and put down all the date covers. The um, date dots are from Ruby Trev. It was part of a kit that I used last year for Halloween actually. And then moving to my sidebar, um, I believe all the glitter headers I pull in this week are from Mandy Dreams, who has my favorite glitter headers. And that habit tracker was from a leftover in my collection because this kit did not come with one. I then used one of the flags in the kit and I used it sideways to mark my happy moments. I believe that heart checklist was a leftover from a Hello Petite paper kit that I used a while ago and that gray color just matched really well. And then at the bottom, I put down a quarter box to mark my dinners um, and that Monday through Sunday tracker was also from my leftovers collection. I don't think any of the sheets that I picked up from this kit had any sidebar items. Then moving to Monday, I started with a glitter header at the top and then a quarter box. I then decided to switch out the color of the glitter header and opt for a lighter pink one instead. That bow paper clip sticker I believe is from Me You Designs and I used that to mark that it was minimum day on Monday. This week was actually super awesome because it was minimum day every single day uh, because of parent conferences that we had and then on Thursday the day after Halloween it was a no student day which is always nice. I did have a lot of meetings that day but it just gives us a chance to kind of catch up and get some things done. So anyways back to Monday. I put down a coffee Monday sticker from paper and milk and then that coffee that gray coffee cup is from planning perks i then used a dainty bow quarter box from the kit to mark that i had an appointment that day i put down a half box with an iep flag from lily grove designs to mark a meeting that i had in the afternoon and then i used the full box right there i think i do trim off a little bit of it later on and then at the very bottom i put down one of the half circle scallops on top of the full box, I used a workout girl from Jesse James Design Co. And I really like that design. I think she's so cute in her little sports bra and everything. And then I used a film sticker from Love Shira to mark that I had to film my haul video that day. And on top of the um, scallop half circle, I used a bow sticker from, um, I think it's from N Elizabeth Multimedia. And I wrote or I brush lettered Wicked on top of that because that night there was like a Wicked special on TV. I actually wasn't able to watch it 
but I did catch up on some clips of it and it was amazing because I absolutely love the Wicked soundtrack and it was so much fun getting to watch them like recreate some of those songs and all that stuff. So anyways, I just wanted to mark that. It was really special. On Tuesday, I used um, a scallop half box to mark minimum day again. I then put down the full box with the tree because I didn't have a whole lot going on. The IEP flag again is from Lily Grove Designs and I use that to mark an afternoon meeting. Then I put down a quarter box with a tiny little grocery icon that is from Sunset Sticker Cone. I really like that because it's so tiny and kind of fits in um, small spaces. I then lifted up everything because I realized I needed to fill in more space because I didn't do a whole lot on Tuesday like I said. So I found these really cute little mochi Halloween stickers. These are from Mochi Kichi and it's all Halloween themed so I decided to pull in a bunch of those um, stickers into this kit. So you'll see a few of them throughout. I replaced the IEP flag and the grocery icon, and then I used a um, washi strip with a dumbbell sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark my workout that afternoon. At the very bottom, I put down another Halloween sticker from Mochi Kichi to mark that I had ice cream that night. And then um, I realized that I did not use a glitter header on Tuesday, so I scooted everything up and down just a little bit to make room for a glitter header. Then moving to Wednesday, I started by putting down a half box at the top. And again, I pulled in more Halloween stickers from Mochi Kichi. And these are so cute. It's like the little mochi with a broom. Um, there was a text sticker that said Happy Halloween and then this tiny little bat. I just thought that made such a cute little scene. I then used another um, quarter box to mark minimum day for Wednesday. And I had another meeting Wednesday. It was a really busy week for meetings. I think I had like seven meetings or something like that. So it was pretty crazy. Um, again, the flag is from Lily Grove Designs. I then put down a glitter header with a half circle scallop and originally I used this workout sticker on top of it and then um, I put the full box with the stripes at the bottom. I decided that I needed to take up more room because I didn't do a whole lot on Wednesday after work so I ended up lifting up the workout sticker and putting it on a half box or I'm sorry a quarter box from Mochi Kichi. It has like a little mummy mochi which is so cute and then on top of the scallop I put down a laptop to mark that I worked on reports that that day. At the end of the night, I put down a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and I just wrote beers and chill because that's pretty much all I did um, that night. And then also used a YouTube emoji from the Coffee Monsters Code to mark a YouTube binge that I did at the very end of the night. On Thursday, like I mentioned earlier, it was a no student day. So it's really nice that the kids get the day after Halloween off of school so that they can be out late and trick or treat and all that without worrying about being tired the next day. And um, that's always kind of a nice perk. I used a bow paper clip sticker. I think it's from Simply Watercolor Co. And then I used that glasses sticker from Laban Forest to mark a morning staff meeting that we had. Um, I then had two IEPs in a row. So the first one I put over one of those glittery half boxes. And then the second one I just put directly on my planner. After my meetings, um, I went and met up with one of my previous co-workers for lunch and we got um, some Hawaiian food, which is really good. And I put that on a half box. I also stuck a glitter header on top of it. So I used brush lettering to mark that because it was a really special occasion. And under that, I used another quarter box for a mochi kichi with a cute ghost mochi to mark that I had another meeting after. And because I only had a tiny bit of space left at the end, I just put down a TV sticker to mark the show that we were watching that night. I believe the TV sticker is from Sparkly Studio. For Friday, I started by using a glitter header at the top, and then I realized that on Thursday I didn't use one of those scallop labels, and I was really trying to use at least one of them every day, and so I went back and stuck it on top of where I had written the staff meeting um, and just replaced everything else. I then moved back to Friday and used another quarter box from Mochi Kichi to mark our last minimum day of the week. Um, that coffee sticker I just put down is from um, what used to be planning in Mint, but I think it's now Bloom Paper Studio. And I just wrote Friday coffee right next to that because I'm always excited for my coffee on Fridays. Um, I had another IEP that morning, so I used an IEP flag. Again, those are from Lily Grove Designs. I put down a quarter box and pulled in the sticker of the mochi slamming its head into a wall, and that's from Mochi Kiji as well because um, something happened at my school where I had to pretty much get moved again for the second time and other people packed up my stuff when I wasn't there and now I can't find any of my stationary items which you know for me as a planner girl is like devastating so I lost like all my cute pink paper clips and um, stapler tape dispenser basically all the cute pink stuff I've collected uh, for my office supplies over the years are completely gone and I definitely wanted to mark that in my planner 
And anyways, then I had another IEP that afternoon, so I put that on a half box. And finally, the week is done. It was so busy and there was so much going on um, that you know I was just really happy to make it to the weekend. To mark my um, afternoon workout, I used a shoe sticker from Bloom Paper Studio. And then at the bottom, I layered a washi strip with another one of those half box scallops or half circle scallops to mark that I just had some drinks and watch Netflix at the end of the night because that's pretty much all I had energy for after the week was done. And that wine sticker is from Kylie and Chaos. Now moving on to the weekend, I started by cutting up a washi strip and layering it at the top. Um, the kit did not come with a weekend banner or the sheets that I picked up a la carte did not have a weekend banner. So I found this one from Little Red Prince and I thought it matched really well with the kit and it says, yes, the weekend, which is pretty much how I felt once I made it there. Um, I used a flag with the sleepy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I slept in. I think the sleep in tech sticker is from Paper and Milk. I then used a checklist to mark some things that I got done. The the utensil sticker was also from Paper and Milk. I put down a quarter box with a makeup sticker from Chasing Chels to mark that I got ready for dinner with um, some relatives that came into town. It was really good to see them, but I realized that I didn't have enough space to mark everything I wanted, so I ended up taking out one of the items on my checklist. I think it was dishes, and I was like, I don't need to remember if I did dishes. That's fine. So I just cut it down from four hearts to three hearts. On the scallop label, I just put the name of the restaurant where we went with the family who was in town, and um, that bow sticker I pulled in. I can't remember where that's from because that is in my leftover stash. After dinner, they invited us over to check out their place and just hang out, have some drinks and chat. So that was really lovely. They had this really, really cute little Airbnb in Newport Beach. So I pulled in this house sticker, which was part of my leftover stash. And then I left that blank because I didn't want to um, write in their names on camera. Then moving to Sunday, I started by putting down a full box at the top and Sunday was such a good day and I don't even know why. I just woke up in like the best mood ever, just feeling like super good vibes all morning and I couldn't really pinpoint like what it was. It wasn't like something that happened. I just was feeling so happy and just so positive and I love that. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I reflected that in my planner. So on the full box, I put down a half box and um, brush lettered good vibes and the cheerleading girl sticker is from art box stickers. We then went to get some boba and do our groceries as we usually like to do on Sundays. That boba time sticker is from Love Shira. And then when we got home, we cleaned because one of my friends was coming over. So I put that on a sparkly half box and the cleaning icon is from Toffee Bananas. Like I said, my friend came over that night, so we went and got some ramen, um, but the ramen place we go to always has like a huge line, so we went to the bar next to it, and they happened to have happy hour, so of course we grabbed some drinks and played some games. Um, the happy hour text is from Paper and Milk, and actually so is the beer, so those are both from Paper and Milk, and then at the very bottom to mark the ramen, I put down a ramen sticker from Hazel Sticker. I again realized that I forgot to use a scallop label on Sunday, so I just make some adjustments by trimming down the full box and sticking down the scallop label, and I just put the boba time sticker right on top of that. And as usual, I'm just filling out my sidebar items, tracking my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners at the very end. And that is it for this week's spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry, I'm so behind. I know most people are already on Christmas spreads, and here I am still uploading my Halloween spread. So I hope you guys don't mind and still want to see these. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great Halloween like two months ago. And um, thank you so much for um, just understanding and supporting my channel as you always do. I honestly appreciate that so much from the bottom of my heart. So I hope you guys all have a great week. I will see you guys in my next video and I will talk to you later. Bye.